Okay. Here we go with our second episode of our Let's Play of Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. We've had our heart ripped out, put our shirt back together, and our decency and our pride. Picked ourselves up, and now we've got to adventure and figure out what's going on. We've gotten a couple of quests here, figure out where those flowers are. We've got to make our way to some encampment with our pawn. Um, for right now, let's go check around and see if we can just gather a few supplies kind of explore a little bit of this little town and see what's here. And then I'll show you guys a really cool trick here in a few minutes that'll get you about 300,000 gold. And 300,000 gold is enough to do, like I've said, probably half the game with. These daggers are super weak. I can't even break those boxes really well. So we get little rocks like that and we can throw them. There's empty glass jars we can get out of these. Oh, there's a treasure chest I was looking for. The cloud wine. Really good item for healing is what it is. Get some fish. Let's grab some of those fish. That would be nice for our stamina. Especially if we can get a large one. A small fish. Let me grab one of them. One more chest right over here. More cloud one. For some reason I thought that was a weapon or an item. Holy cow. Do not get to break this. We just don't have what it takes. To break a box. It's unbreakable. Flask of oil, there we go. We can use that on our lantern. So like I said, <laughs> this RPG is legendary for three things. It's pawn mechanic, where you have partners and stuff, and we'll go get those guys in a second. The um, battle mechanics, and the overall platforming slash adventuring through the game aspect. And those three things make it exceptional. You can raise your affinity with people by giving them items or completing the quest they ask of you. Cool. There's something else, but I couldn't quite read it. Put my headphones on here so I can hear what's going on. Let's see. Oh, let's see what this guy has to say. Gathering ingredients, eh? You often see those flowers growing at the roots of bigger trees. Not that I'm fain to brave the roads these days. Just see you're not injured yourself, good fisher. Okay, so we find them by a tree. Good to know. So, first thing we need to do, before we do anything else, we're gonna get a bunch of gold right now, guys. Suck the innkeep. Oh, here, Benita has you picking flowers for her. Pray, just be cautious, cousin. What's that? Monsters grow bolder by night. If you must leave the village, go prepared. I do not fancy the thought of you going off on your own. But I trust in your judgment. If you come by the inn, you can always rest until the hour you wish to set out. In any case, take care. What can I do you for? Okay. Well, first, as you will, we want to manage our stored items. So I think his hint was to go out at night looking for the flowers. So in our inventory, since we have the dark arisen version of the game, it comes with the bitter black DLC which has some of these lift stones, we don't need those. Also has this serum, fiend and luring inset, we don't need that right now, but what we want are these items here. They're armor and some rings. So we want, I think it's this one that's the best, or the one I like the most. Yeah, this one right here, the tiara of enlightenment. We'll give that to her. We also want the monocle. We're gonna take all of it actually. We'll take the robe of enlightenment, the vagabond armor, the cloth, and all that. We'll take that too, and we'll take all these rings. Okay, with all that stuff, we can leave all the other stuff for now. We don't need that. What can I do you for? Nothing. Now. Here you can restore health and stamina, advance the passage of time at any inn or resting spot. So you gotta change it from day to night or whatever, you can do that. So we gathered all those items. This is a notice board. This reminds me of Witcher 3. Notice boards across Granis advertise quests, errands, and favors you can choose to undertake. Let's check it out. 
Reclaim the roads. All manner of requests and concerns are posted here. Successful completion of each earns a base reward of 500 gold and 500 experience. Defeat 10 bandits. Region South Granis. Annealed stilettos are the reward. Yeah, cool. Well, we're definitely going to accept these guys. So these quests are all like defeat 10 goblins, slay 7 mice, slay 5 rabbits. Okay. And my advice to you guys is to collect those in any quest you can, as mu any chance you get, because you can hold as many as you can and you can prioritize them so it doesn't really get in the way. It's nice to have them stored away for whatever you want to do them. Now remember, we gathered those items out of our inventory, and the main one we want to deal with is the monocle. Whoops. I only wish I had more. I only. Before we do any of that, we're gonna equip some stuff here. So we'll sell what we don't need. So I like equipping the tiara. That's the one I like out of these guys. As you can see, it's a little bit better than the jester's cap for uh, defense. <clears throat> a little bit worse for magic defense. Or no, excuse me. A little bit better for magic defense and piercing resistance, a little bit worse for regular defense and striking defense. But nonetheless, I like it. The resistances on the Jester's Cap are better too, but either way, I don't care. This monocle is not good for anything really that I've come to find out, and that makes it really nice, and I'll show you why in a minute. Why do you say that it would be nice to have something that's terrible? Let's put this armor on. It looks sick, dude. The Vagabond armor. Wow, she looks dope with that on. And the battle dress looks cool too. So you can wear clothing and armor in this game. The fisherman tatters, we put those on. But it looks like we can't wear the vagabond armor and that at the same time. So we definitely want the vagabond armor. It looks way cooler and is pretty nice. Then we'll equip our lion spine, which is an arm piece. Look at that. Looks sick. Okay, what's this? Some pants, cloth greaves, yep, we got that. So these rings do special things. This is a swordsman's ring. This is the strider ring. This is the magician's ring. We're gonna use the daggerist ring. So now we've equipped ourselves with DLC content, armor, the ring, and the headgear, and we don't need that monocle. Now we can come over here with that and monocle, guys. Any further, makes me ill just as I only wish I had more to offer. And guess what? We're gonna sell the monocle for three hundred twelve thousand gold. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, guys? Boom! Three hundred thousand gold, just like that. We're gonna sell that jester's cap, also. We don't need that. Sell that shirt. I think we can just sell the robe of enlightenment, wavering cloth. Well, no, I want to keep one of these for uh, whatever pawn we get, and then we'll sell the other one. We can sell the shirt and all that business. We don't need that. Fishman tatters, because also I want to stay light. I don't want to be heavy. We'll save those for the other pawn too. So just like that, we've got 500 or we've got 300,000 gold, guys. And that'll last us so long into the game. There's little sense. Hold out. I only need. I want to buy some green warish. Just about ten of them. And these are your health packs, healing items, green warish. You can make it potent green warish. You can do other stuff with it. Mix it with other items to create other brews. But that's the one we want for right now from her. We need a lantern for sure. Always have to have a lantern. The pickaxe for mining. Yeah, we don't really care about that right now. So I want some arrows. It's the first time I've really looked at these arrows. Sleeper, poison, and oil arrows. Interesting. And those are throwable items. We don't want don't care about those too much. Here we go. These throat cutters look nice. Do we get those? I think we do. I think those are the best one that she has for us. None of these should be as good as what we've got on. Oh, except the shirt. Hemp shirt, 202, 159, 201, 
Yeah, I mean, might as well put the shirt on, right? Whoops. Don't want 42 of those. No, that's as good. Ooh, 203 and 178, huh? Let's put those on. 209 and 166. 203 and 178. 202. Oh, I like that 203 and one. Yeah, piercing. Leather cuirass. 204. Oof, more stamina or more health? This one looks cooler. Oh, whoops. I wanted to buy that cape. I gotta remember to buy that cape here in a second. I like those boots. They're kind of weird looking, but whatever. I mean, need that cape. So just like that, we are geared up and ready to rock and roll. Then we're gonna sell some stuff here. Just to get rid of some stuff. Okay. Cool. I only wish I had. So look at our character now. Short shorts are kind of short. That's okay. This armor is badass though, dude. Our new daggers. Oh, don't hurt her. Jesus. Fate mocks me. Oh, it does. I thought to run. We even made a start of it. Yet here I am again. Well, we're here together. Oh, here's another shop. She's not home. This is another shopkeeper up here. Wonder where she went to. So, more platforming. Let's platform around this town a little bit here. Just to show you what's up. And explore a little bit. Here's a church up here. If I remember correctly. Still so weak. Oh yeah, it's a nice treasure chest. Look. So these are special ones. They have like armor and weapons, I think. Oh no, just coin pouch. Thousand gold. That's cool. Not really what we needed, but... Oh god, I forgot. Falling really does hurt you in this game, too. That really hurt. Oof. We're gonna go to the inn and just take a rest. Instead of using a bunch of our green wash. And so in this game, when you die, you're like dead, by the way. Like, there's no... It just loads you back to the next checkpoint and save point. So you lose all your progress prior to that. Or after that checkpoint, I guess, because it loads you back. What's this guard doing in my room? And why am I so much bigger than you? I mean, how much bigger I am than him? I'm a whole foot taller than you, son. You're not even as tall as my tits. Okay, let's get that herb. Let's take some items out of here. This pumpkin, all this stuff would be nice for stamina recovery. The foreign knife is good for... <clears throat> I can't remember what that's for. Making stuff, crafting. Thanks for letting me stay here, buddy. I'm gonna rob you. Blind. It's the way out. So, so we can find any more treasure chests about.
Man, I don't think the graphics are the best in this game. Oh gosh, and the story is far from exciting or really all that uh, gripping. But it's not bad. You know, it's like, meh, whatever. There's the church. Oh, what do you have to say? Where do the curing flowers grow? Hmm. Have you had a look by the shore? If not now, by night, perhaps? I recall seeing some. The eve of the last full moon. So we're looking for two flowers, and our hints were nighttime, by a tree, and by the beach. So I bet at night we'll find them by a tree, and at night we'll find them by the beach. That's kind of cool. Almost all the NPCs have stuff to say, too. Even if it's just mundane, run-of-the-mill NPC stuff. Oh, there's a treasure chest. See right there? Listen to how when he runs across the roof, it changes. And this one's different. It doesn't sound like the terracotta tile. And this sounds different. Real subtle details like that really define a game. And Capcom did great. Oh my gosh. See, I'm a terrible platformer. We'll just use the ladder. <clears throat> what do we think of this one? Flamica. What's that? A powder that easily catches flame combined with other materials to out of use. Okay, I can combine it with a rock to create something. Dragon spit. Okay, cool. So we've got like a grenade is what that is. And a throwing that explosive. There's a little bit of that Dark Souls roll. Oh, what's this? There's chests hidden all over this town. Talismanic beads. Rosary bracelets thrown as protective charms for traditional Casardi accessory. Excuse me, I just had to burp. I don't think it's going to be as good as what we've got, of course, but let's look at it. Oh yeah, way worse. But that's cool that you can just find it there. And anybody can use it. What's happening here? <laughs> like I was face forms right there. speaking with. He's of the Pawn Legion. They come from some unknown place, just appear without a warning. They are a strange lot. Not human, quite. They look the part, sure enough, but they lack the will, the spark what drives us. They have no capacity to feel nor act alone, so they live as sellswords. Myrmidons, they're called. Hmm. There's an encampment west of the village where men gather to face the dragon. I'd wager a fair number of his kind will be there as well. Why don't you take him? Might be you learn aught of why he came to you in the first place. Before leaving, visit the store to make sure you've ample supplies. Cool. <clears throat> Truly know what Risen are meant to do. It is best likely to follow the pawn's lead. So see how the pawn will actually tell you that stuff? The pawn will be looking to head west to the encampment, no doubt. Okay. Why don't you see him there? He'll not make the trip on his own. His kind will rot where they stand, unless a human orders them to move. Cool. So we're going to escort him. 
Be wary, any nearby water, way too deep, and a fog-like monster knows the brine will take you. Hey, talk to me, Rook. Why do you suppose the well is sealed? <laughs> okay. See how they'll just destroy stuff for... Look for items and stuff? That's pretty cool. Hey, you. What? No, I don't, mate. To the encampment. This path should see us there. All right. This game has an auto save function, periodically saving your progress without your adventure. You can also save manually anytime by clicking the center button on the PlayStation 4 5 controller, is what that is. Or the PlayStation Home button, or whatever that is. Damn beast! Uh oh. Better rescue him. Dope, dude. Just getting them. Uh oh. Oh. Get out of stamina, though. Look at him just stuff his nose. Holy cow, is that look? Blow away. Wow. See, magic's super powerful in this game. When foes seem too much to handle, try getting levels or obtaining better equipment. That's kind of like a no does statement right there. That was far but too close. I'm called Reynard, a traveling salesman. Though those damnable beasts ruined my wares. But thanks to you, it was only wares I lost. I'll consider it a bargain. Nice, I got a leather cape out of it. Humble cloak of animal hide, well suited to the rigors of the road. Cool, we gained our first level. You may see peddlers hawking their wares as you make your way around Granis. They often come across rare items not found at more stationary shops. If you see a peddler, make sure to check what they have to offer. Berry. Some herbs. Look at the beach. Isn't that beautiful? We can go to that town over there too. So like I was saying about the third, oh there's these rabbits. We can kill five of them and complete our mission, right? Oof. And launch them off a cliff like it's last little heat things. Come here. Hunting rabbits. Thousand gold just like that for killing five rabbits. Cool. And getting the level. Wow. So that's why it's important to carry those missions with you. I was just giving you an example of that. Like you'll run across ways to solve them out in the field. Oh, and there is no fast travel in this game, guys. Hold on. There is, but it's a specific type of fast travel. And we'll explain that later. You can see full descriptions of any item in your possession by checking inventory with the center button. Or the... Yeah, perhaps. I don't know what that button's called. Materials collected during your travels can be used at shops and other locations to enhance your equipment. I'm just going to call that the menu button. It brings up the menu in this game. This road will have us to the encampment air much longer. See, stamina is important. I am here. To run around to do anything, you need stamina. Alright, I got a bunch of branches. That's cool. Kindling. Goblin! Oh yeah? So the daggers are weak, but they don't cost stamina. Oh man. Gobble that. Oh, grapes. These are good. Careful! A goblin! Oh, there's a door up there. On the ledge. Where's the goblin? Goblins yield like fire! Come on, stand up and fight. What are you doing? Get up! Oh, 
got fire arrows now. Don't worry. I am here. We have triumphed. Goblin! Oh, mid-air struck him down. Goblins, take fire! She runs out of stamina fast. Angel's parapet. What's that? Charm, a charm some of vow carries divine protection. It amplifies defenses for a period of time. Okay. Gives us more defense. Be careful! A goblin! Cool. Hold on. Night cry. I don't know what that does. I forget. Oh, here's one of those flowers for the mission. What of the flower, Hotmaster? We mustn't keep her waiting. That's cool. What else is up this way? So right off the bat, I noticed this character is much faster than the fighter was, but uses a lot more stamina. But that's okay, because we have stuff like beast steak we can use to get our stamina back. These scrags of beast. And we need to use those up before they rot. So like I was saying, there's no real fast travel in this game. There's a very specific way to fast travel in this game, and it's super limited. So what ends up happening is you end up using a lot of... Stamina items to run around this this uh, world, so you can get around quicker. Oh, am I in the brine? Not too much in the brine. Okay, get these coin pouches. Okay, let's get out of here before the brine takes us. Take care, you aren't soaked in water. I am soaked in water. And so another detail: when you're soaked in water, you can't use. You can do mining if you have a pickaxe, but I don't. Whenever you're soaked in water, you can't use your lantern or anything like that. But you can, I think, use fire magic to dry off. The flowers which bloom by day favor the roots of large trees. See, he gives us clues about that mission we're on. That's one cool thing about the pawn system, because he's done it before. <coughs> Are you all right, Master? I am. This road will have us to the encampment air much longer. Please don't overdo it. One nice thing about your main pawn is it'll keep giving you a little bit of recovery stamina, like 10% or something like that. Let's try to stop before it totally runs out. We're at the encampment. We've arrived. Please don't overdo it. Okay, guys, we got to the encampment. When we get back, we're going to go inside and see what's going on in the next episode of our Let's Play here on Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. I'm Lucky. Channel's game on. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.